okay guys lens here and I'm gonna talk about this issue with these boxes right it doesn't matter which box you have as you just need to tweet uh, the method to get it work because they are different models different brands uh, different ones with different chip as well so guys you just need to know what you're doing what I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you how to revive a dead Android box this box is brick I don't know how come but this box is brick so I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to revive your Android box and save you some money in buying another one yeah so I'm gonna hook this up and then I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about yeah you're seeing a red light here you're not seeing the blue it's not turning on whatsoever that's what I'm talking about yeah there are even forums online that says once your box is brick it cannot be fixed but I'm gonna show you a method in this video how you can revive your Android box so yeah it's just saving you some money in purchasing a new one and as so I yes, said you can work with all different models as well so just do a little research or you can probably email me as well and tell me which box you have I most likely would be able to help you out on that as different box would have different chip yeah so with that being said I'm gonna hook this up now and show you what I'm talking about okay guys so what I did here I actually take the power card from that box right here and as you can see there's a reddish light there and this box is not coming on it doesn't matter what I do here to try to turn it on it, it's not coming on it's not responding but you can see a red light there right so there's hope and I'm gonna show you that hope right so let me go right there here and unplug this one i'm gonna go and i'm gonna plug back this one in i'm gonna go and turn on the television that's the blue light i'm talking about you should be able to see the blue light once your box is functional this box is brick meaning that it can be fixed in my case but in most cases as people would say it's done for it's done with throw it out the window I'm gonna show you a way how you can revive this so with that being said this box is working functionally this one is brick I'm gonna show you now how to do this thing so far I'm gonna go to my computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do yeah okay guys so I'm here in front of my computer and I have the Android tool open right there and I already connected the USB cable so as you can see here I'm gonna go right ahead and what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to hold the reset button down while plugging in this right so I'm holding this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna plug it halfway down and then I'm gonna push it down in so here we are right guys we are not getting any detection whatsoever right we are not getting any detection and it seems like all hope is lost here which is definitely not in my case you're still seeing the red light there and we are getting completely nothing okay so I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in getting this fixed we're gonna take this box apart I'm gonna show you exactly how to do so and I'm gonna give you an idea right away what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it to get it fixed what we need to do we need to jump start this box here in my own words and to do so we need to take it apart yeah and uh, what we need to do here we need to locate this chip on our board 
okay guys this is the chip that is on the box and as you can see these two pins here are highlighted and you will need to use a hair pin or hair paper clip or something to hold them together what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just hold a screwdriver over both of them to connect them together but yes this is what you need to do uh, for a different version of box or support uh, it might be a bit hard to detect which one of the pin that you need to do to fix your box but you can also message me leave a comment down below I'll help you out also just look at it and as you can see that this side here there are components more than this side so this pin is a 29 and 30 pin that we're looking at here and that's how we will know which one we are gonna do bear in mind that this number right here can be back to front but this number right here can be back to front so you need to look at the overall design of the chip and look at these two pins so yeah this is the board right here and this is what we're gonna do So now that we remove the board from the box completely, we need to locate that chip that I mentioned earlier, right? And that chip is right here. And if you can look, the same compartment that I'm telling you about with the components are right here on this side. So we are working with this side. So we need to locate the 29 and 30 pin, right? So I'm gonna show you an easy way of finding these pins. If you look here now, you need to check here. One, two, three, four. So what we're gonna do here now, we're gonna leave out the last four pins and then we are gonna hold down after the first four pins. So we need to hold down the 29 and 30. This is what I'm gonna say guys. To, to do this, you will need a hair pin or some sort of thing. I'm gonna show you a simple way how I'm gonna do this thing. And I'm just gonna use a screwdriver and I'm gonna just press down on pins one time. The idea of doing this can be very, very difficult as you will need to plug in the USB wire you will also need to press the reset button and you will also need to hold down the pins so it's like you will be needing three hands yeah and if, if for some reason you can't perform this ask for help get someone to hold on the reset button for you and you can hold the pins while connecting the cable, the USB cable. So guys, I'm gonna go right ahead. I'm gonna show you exactly what we need to do, how we need to get this to detect. And the other error that can occur, which is, I think is the IBD failed. That as well, you can do this to fix that error. So, I've already gone through this before. I've did some research on how to get that fixed. I ended up downloading a package that it didn't even work trying to flash your device. You can encounter the IBD fail. So this method also can help you to just bypass that, restore your Android box, to perfect working condition as brand new so guys lens is gonna help you to save money today lens is gonna teach you some new stuff here in this tutorial how you can revive your android box and 
once the hardware of your system is good it is simply saying to you that you know you could keep reviving your box if it goes bad so i'm gonna show you exactly how to do this i'm gonna get into it it's a big hectic scene that you have to do a lot of things with just two hands so i'm gonna go right ahead and i'm gonna identify these pins one two three four Right, so we're gonna be these. I'm gonna do One, two, three, four. This is M3 here. I'm gonna move it down like that. That's it, guys. So, we just got this thing to detect, right? I I just want to let you know that this is difficult it's not easy but we just got it to detect I'm gonna show you exactly we're gonna move forward from there I'm gonna break it down I'm gonna show you okay guys so with what I just told you a while ago the board detected via the software you can see here found loader device and uh, if I try to go and flash it, let's 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 go and upgrade and try to flash this box. IBD start, everything is working perfectly here so far. But if it happens for some reason that you get an error saying the IDB failed or anything like that, what you need to do, you need to keep holding down the pins while performing this reset yeah so that's exactly how you need to do this keep holding down the pin we have another failure here it says wait for loader fail we are encountering problems here and to overcome that we have to do the same thing here holding down the pins in order to get this thing to flash to get our box up back and running after we do this procedure we can continue flashing our box normally after that we can continue using it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you once more how to overcome yet another obstacle I hope that you guys can see and I hope that I can see as well but I am gonna go ahead and I'm going to Locate the pins once more and I'm going to hold them down and a one, two, three. So that's it there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in and I'm going to hit upgrade. So you need to do this right through. You need to hold the pins while performing this. Yeah. everything revived as you can see here success